Hey everybody, and welcome back to another lecture with Coding with Roby. And in this lecture, we're going to create a layout.html. And the layout.html is going to be more or less the wrapper over each HTML page that we have, so we don't have duplications of code. We can handle all of this within Jenja. So if we open up our home.html file, We can see that our home.html file is going to have our doc type of HTML with our HTML language of English, a header. And then right under the header, we have the start of the body with our navigation bar. At the very bottom of our home.html file, we have all of our scripts. And this is the exact same thing with all of our pages. They all include the links in CSS at the top with the nav bar and the scripts at the bottom. Now, with this approach, we are adding possibilities of bugs within our code base. We could have different nav bars based on different pages. If there's a bug in one of our nav bars, we have to change it in all of our files. And it's significantly easier to have a parent layout file that's in charge of the nav bar and our scripts and our CSS that each HTML file can just inherit. So let's start by creating a layout.html file. We can do this by right clicking on templates and saying new HTML file. And now within layout.html file, there's some code that we can just copy and paste over. If we jump into our login.html file, we can copy over everything from the doc type all the way down to the container. And make sure you do not include the container as that's going to be our individual code for each HTML file. Let's now cut that code and paste it in our layout.html file. Let's now go back to our login.html code. And I'm going to move our container to the top. And at the very end of our container, we have the end of the HTML, the end of the body, and our scripts. Let's grab this code as well and paste it at the bottom of our layout.html file. Now within our layout.html file, we have all the code that's going to be duplicated in each HTML file. Now the only difference is inside here, so under the nav bar and before the scripts, we're going to have different code for each HTML file. Now the different code is going to be called block content. And we can classify this within Jinja by doing bracket bracket, 2% signs, block content, and then under the block content, we can do bracket bracket, 2% signs, and end block. And now all we have to do is inside login.html at the very top. So if we open this back up, we can see all the code for our login. Let's drop this down two spots. And at the very top, let's do bracket bracket, 2% signs, include layout.html with single quotation marks. And then save the file. Let's now jump back over to our application and let's change our to do's to off. And immediately we can see that our nav bar and all of our scripts are automatically added into our login.html file. If we look at the code by right clicking and inspecting, we can see our HTML, our header, our body, which is going to include our nav bar and our scripts at the bottom all from our layout.html file. And again, this is just to create and export our code into more manageable pieces of code. So now let's go back and do this for every single one of our files. I'm gonna just highlight this of include layout.html. I'm going to copy it. And now I'm gonna jump into our home.html file. 
I'm going to scroll up until we can see our div class container. I'm going to close this code and remove everything under the container and everything before the container. And I'm then just going to paste our bracket bracket 2% signs to include our layout.html file. And now let's open up our templates and open up our add to do.html. Do the exact same thing. Then our edit to do.html. And our register.html. All right, let's save the files and go back to our web application. Refresh the page, and now let's try and go to to dos. Let's now go to edit to do. Let's now go to add to do. And lastly, let's go to our register page. And there we have it, our nav bar, our scripts, and our CSS is added to every single one of our pages. This wraps up breaking down our HTML into more manageable pieces of code by creating our layout.html file. And I will see you in the next video.